Hi, right, it's Cam again. This video I'll be showing you just the coloring process for this stylized creature. It's a platypus doing a series on uh, Australian animals. Uh, you may have seen the wombat. I uh, did an earlier video on that. Um, so you can watch that to just see how I construct the lines. Um, but for this video I've just skipped ahead and uh, I'll be just showing the coloring or rendering process. So on a new layer beneath the line work, I just block in some local colours. These are just basic flat colours, generally a mid-tone. I've also got a bit of reference there. And even if you are painting a, a made-up creature, you can perhaps um, get reference from real things so you can get reference for fur or scales and all that just to help aid you in making your decisions so on each new layer I'm doing things like overlay for the highlights and then reflected lights thinking about the environment that the creature is in so it'll be underwater so there's a bit of uh, light getting thrown around in the water and then the light coming from through the surface of the water and I assume the water would be a little bit muddy so it might get a bit of this um, orangey hue to it tweaking the colours a bit just to cool it down since it is underwater it's generally going to be quite cool and the there won't be heaps of contrast I think I'm just adjusting the opacity of each layer seeing if it works better at all. Generally when I paint these overlay layers I will adjust the opacity of the layer and test whether it should be brighter or less intense. Same with multiply. And that's the good thing about digital you can really experiment so much and try different things, switch things on and off or adjust things and see if it works better and it's worth trying around because um, you'll begin to you'll begin to find find what works and what doesn't and then it will help you learn as an artist So I've just painted a square and then using distort with the free transform. To get the distort option just right click when you have the free transform activated. So thinking about perspective a bit. And this is just consistent with the other creatures in the series. I'm generally doing them the same same way. This kind of chunk of the environment below them. And then that's on a new layer, just with a custom brush for the seaweed. Bit of a background. I've also coloured the lines a bit. Um, and you'll see with the final image, there is quite a few extra things. Um, the last things after I do this text is signature and then adjusting the lines a bit with the colors and then I use a few photo overlays just on the um, flatter foot it's puss itself and then using layer modes like soft light and lowering the opacity and getting some nice um, effects over the flatter puss. So thanks for watching.